My name is uh, Dr. Jay Mehta. I'm from the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences in uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. I'm a professor of medicine and physiology. Okay, and then if you can give me the overview. Of okay, well, my presentation was um, on um, reconsideration of the role of uh, fat intake and the genesis of uh, coronary artery disease and to reassess sort of the evidence for the intake of fats. Um, as we all know, over the last uh, three decades, there has been um, much emphasis on reduction in fats in diet in the prevention of coronary artery disease. Unfortunately, when one reviews all these studies, uh, not in solo, but in total, what you call meta-analysis. The evidence for reduction in coronary vascular disease events and saturated fat intake, the relationship between the two is very weak at best and most likely non-existent. And my second concern relates to that the decrease in fat intake is uh, associated with increase in carbohydrate intake. And I think uh, the overall caloric intake over the last 40 years, and most of them coming from carbohydrates, probably is one of the reasons for the increased prevalence of metabolic syndrome um, and uh, the higher incidence of uh, diabetes in the population. I believe that coronary car artery disease is multifactorial, which includes um, the genetic factors, which we know very little about, the environmental factors like pollution that we know something about, and then what I call life synergy, and life synergy includes uh, diet, includes uh, stress, social interaction, um, exercise, and our overall uh, way of life. And uh, if one looks at uh, coronary artery disease pathogenesis from that perspective, diet is actually a very small part of overall uh, what I call lifestyle synergy. We should uh, have a very balanced uh, diet between uh, carbohydrates, fats, and proteins, eat healthy, eat little bit of everything, but more importantly, try to reduce uh, our stress level, have more social interaction, and, uh, and there's not much we can do about the genetics, and certainly have politicians and uh, our community leaders improve uh, and the environmental factors like uh, pollutions. But going back, the evidence of saturated fats being the sole cause of uh, high incidence of uh, coronary artery disease is just not there. Doesn't mean that we should have increased uh, fats in our diet, but I think a more of a balanced diet where fats, carbohydrates, and proteins are taken pretty much in equal proportion.